Hello everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon! My name is Bear, we are once again in a pretty fortunate position of not anyone needing any kind of stress relief necessarily as a result of that last expedition, so things are looking good. Also I've got some good supply of money in the coffers, you know, we're looking okay in that respect, but more importantly, we have fa finally managed to get our weaponsmithing up to rank 5 which I'm going to abuse now in the form of getting all these folks up in that level 5 domain. First though, I want to check to see what kind of missions we have available to us here. We need to level up every single area, of course, so we could go for... Ooh, what is this? Sharpening Sheath. Minus 16% chance to bleed skills. He only has the one. Reduces his melee damage, but boosts up his melee crit chance. I don't think that's really worth it. That doesn't seem like it's that great, so... Look at everything else. I feel like I'm justified in at least checking out what kind of offerings these other missions are making. Whether or not I'm actually going to do them is still definitely up for consideration here. Get a speed stone from this. I do still want to collect deeds is the thing. Although, unfortunately, this is a mission limited to... In fact, I'm pretty sure we can't even do this. Yeah, we don't have enough people to do this. Because these guys won't go in. I won't wa waste my talents on that trivial errand. So we're not actually... Capable of going here, unless we of course wanted to do a champion difficulty long mission, which would just be basically asking to kill off our entire party. So I guess this is the one we go for, even though I don't even really want this thing. But I suppose that's going to be okay. So let's go ahead and bump up some of our leveled up folks here to level 5 strength. I'm going to start with her. The Hand of Light. Boost up her speed a little bit, a little bit more damage. Good, good, good. Of course, we have not yet upgraded the furnace significantly enough, so I kind of want to make sure I don't upgrade too much. I'm definitely going to go with the Long Crusade here. Oh, I love that sound it makes when you get to level 5. It's so satisfying. The Wolf's Tooth! Oh, yes. Then Dismas and Chartres, I'm pretty sure, will be the last two we do. Thunder and Lightning. And then, finally, the Broken Blade. Big damage from Chachas here. I might go with a Shwil as well, but I think we're going to be okay. So, I say we, uh... Well, you know what? I'm actually kind of tempted to bring, uh, Garnet out again. Sarnet, Garnet, whatever you want to call her. I feel like I could certainly benefit from, uh, giving her that experience from the... What was this mission we're going to go on? It's a long veteran mission. She's going to be getting carried, of course, by three other very powerful allies in the form of Savigny. Probably uh, Savigny, Frodoi, and Chartres, I would imagine. Maybe even Malvolid, actually, but both of them are really good. He's got that damage boost, of course, from the Redemption Armlet. So yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do Feroy. Chartres, Feroy, Savigny, and Connet will be our members this time around. Let's just go ahead and take them to the guild, too. Make sure that we are uh, use, using that effectively as well. Of course, got this up to level 5, so we can take advantage of that. Boost up her healing abilities here, and then Feroy, I suppose, could use a little bit more of a benefit to the stunning blow. Actually, I'm going to boost up her stun as well. Give her that higher stun base chance on that attack, and then probably want to go ahead and boost up the accuracy on his primary attacks here. And I suppose eh, that's probably not really worth it. What's his stress heal looking like, though? I don't know how effective that gets. It's not that much money. I think I'm going to take a gamble on it. Okay, so it stays at 5, unfortunately, so... Probably not going to be using that too much. Let's take Feroy in here again real fast. I think I want to bu bump up Zealous Accusation once. And maybe even Holy Lance. Because we are going to be going against unholy enemies in here, so that probably seems... Uh, valuable to me. And now that I've uh, corrected her layout of abilities here, I'm just going to level up these ones. So Noxious Blast, Blinding Gas, Battlefield Medicine, and Emboldening Vapors are going to be what we go with here. There we go. Alright, that's a good expenditure of money. I think we're looking pretty damn good here. I'm not too worried about losing Garnet, but I do want to be very careful with how I progress through things here. So, just make sure that as we're going through it. Oh, she won't even come with us. Oh, shit. That's right. She needs those champion missions, man. Okay, well, I guess Tornabut's our answer then. 
We have to take her to the guild real fast. Damn, I'm glad we have a little bit of money left over, although it might not be enough. What can we do with Tornabit here? We can get her up to level 4 in both of these. That's still a lot of money we're spending, though. This is a long mission, too. I'm going to use the defensive skill level up. That's probably worth it. And then let's take her into the guild. Oh, man, I wish I had realized this sooner. Okay, so we can't level her up anymore in the guild, so that's all taken care of. I don't think I dare spend the extra 1500 to get her offensive capabilities boosted up a little bit more. I think it's probably going to be okay. So long as we allow our frontline guys to deal extreme amounts of damage. Definitely going to take for Roy. And I really do think charges. Let's, let's look at them uh, comparatively here. So 12 to 19 against 13 to 22. Uh, she, he's got a lot more hit points. His crit chance is a little higher, not really even significant though. He's got a lot more speed than Malvel it does. I'm looking at the accuracy. I'm trying to find the accuracy. She does have that 60% trap detection chance, so at least there's that for her. Uh, you know what? I think I'll take him. Yeah, we'll be fine with that. All right, we're ready. Let's provision up. Uh, I'm not going to be really over-prepared this time around. I will take a full stack of Holy Waters. Wow, I didn't realize you could stack those up that high. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to take a full stack of that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Probably only even need three, and then I'll take three shovels to be a little bit safer. Definitely want to take this food. Actually, do we have fasting seals on any of these guys? Let's have a quick look here. We have the uh, Paralyzer's Crest, which is actually really nice for him. He's rocking the double damage bracers. P Plague Doctor... You know what? I could probably use a Fasting Seal on her. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, replace it with the Fasting Seal so we can save a little bit on the food there. And I don't know what Tornabut's rocking. She's got a Fasting Seal on as well. Okay, so that's good. That is actually really nice. That's going to allow us to probably only have to bring one stack of food. And then just hope for a couple of Medicinal Herb opportunities, and that should be okay. Alright, that'll work. And uh, we'll bring... Two bandages and an anti-venom, and that is all of our money. So we gotta hope this works out. I've been I've been going all in quite a few times lately, so it's kind of scary every time still, but I have a good feeling about this party. I think we'll be okay. I hope we'll be okay. God, I hope we'll be okay. <laughs> this is this is bad. Hands must be driven back. And what better place to begin? And the seat of our noble line. One hundred percent of room battles must be completed. I think the obvious path this time around is to go in the uh, bit of a circle here, double back, then hope that we get a scout this way and check out the other rooms as we go. We have two campfires, so we should be able to clear through all this campfire here. Maybe get up this way, hope for another scout opportunity. We'll see how things go. We start off. With overgrown Webbers. Let's look at our damage from Torn, but see whether or not we really wanted to upgrade that in the first place. Eh, maybe. That might have been worth it, actually. We'll have to see. I'm guessing we go with a, uh... What we got here? She's got the Noxious Blast. I don't think she has Incision equipped right now. We could give one of our two guys up front a damage boost with the Emboldening Vapors to start off with. I'm really glad they're resisting a lot of this stuff. I think this will work out okay, although it's not really necessary. How about we just go like this? Hopefully he acts first, although I doubt it. Because, yeah, okay, so he's got the faster attack. That works, though. Alright, I shouldn't have been too, too concerned about it anyway. There we go! Okay, okay. Good stuff. We have a couple of stress heal options with this team as well. But a victory, nonetheless. Which is always nice. We have the self-stress heal on Chartres, of course, as well as the... Individual target group stress heal on the Crusader. So I like that a lot. No room battles as of yet. We have a couple of Holloway battles to deal with. Hopefully some easy stuff. Okay, a Bone Spearman and a Noble. We did surprise him. Should actually go pretty damn well for us. And then that's a start we didn't want to see. Okay, so I'm hoping for a Holy Lance opportunity on the Noble, which means Noxious Blast against the Veteran could be pretty damn good. Blight Resist is really not that high. Blinding Gas doesn't really work very well. I couldn't Boldening Vapors here, but I'd much rather deal some damage and hopefully kill this guy before he gets a chance to act. That's a lot of damage from the Blight, too. There we go! Oh, man! Okay, Feroy is two for two with the crits thus far. I cannot be upset about that. How about a stun on our Spearman here? What's his stun chance look like? 30% against, like, 140, so that's a guaranteed thing. Oh, come on now, Chartres. Don't let Feroy take all the credit, man. You gotta take a little bit for yourself. 
You gotta make it seem like you're a contributor here. All right, that works. Hope of course, we do have the smite available on our crusader as well. I'm pretty sure he has that equipped. He does indeed. Oh man! Give them no quarter. That maximum damage strike. You gotta love that. All right, already two full stacks of crests just getting through these first couple of hallways here. Oh yikes! Oh, also I realized, damn! I keep realizing this like a third of the way through the dungeon. I keep forgetting to commit to people to the sanitarium. But I'm pretty sure we don't have anything that really needed to be addressed, so I think we're gonna be we're gonna be okay. My God! If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. An abundance of crests showing up early on here. Okay, these guys have got the stress and the stuns. Yeah, goddamn! You wouldn't think maggots would be that intimidating. Of course, they have the low health to kind of offset those issues, but. Their high speed, man, it's just, it kind of makes for a really shitty situation a lot of the time. Until that happens, and then, no worries anymore beyond that point. My God, I know it, man! Okay! All right, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine! Just stop complaining, Bear Taffy. If you could give me a moment of respite here, to just enjoy the spoils of war. Wow. I did not realize we were going, like, high crit chance with these fellas here. That is insane. Alright, some successful research. A lot of gold out of that, which is an odd result. Did we not scout this hallway? I think I just straight up walked through a trap that I scouted. Oh my god, she is... Ooh, okay. When the hell did she get hurt so much? I need to heal her up. My god. Let's make that a priority here. Okay, good, we got the surprise. I could go for the knockback here, actually. That's certainly not a bad option. A devastating blow. Oh, wait a minute. No, that is kind of a bad option. I don't know why I thought that would work out okay. I want the pull. That's what I want. The pull is much better than the knockback against the bloodletter. Getting this guy up to the front is going to be awesome whenever we can manage to do it. Uh, blinding gas is terrific here, actually. That's 119 against 45 each. Stunning those two in the back and then maybe even killing this guy off before he can act. That would be amazing. Let's try it out. 13 damage there. I should get enough from the leper in the next turn. Oh, he does get the first action, though. Oh, that's some serious damage, too. Resisted whatever. Was that a mark or a debuff, perhaps, that takes place with that one? There we go! Victory. Perhaps the turning point. I was not even at all counting on that, but that certainly works out pretty damn well. Alright, if we can get a, a good hue to land here, we've got a 68% chance. Good chance of killing them both. Alright, we got the damage at least. He's still stunned as well. Tell you what, let's go with the Judgment with our Vestal here, because she needs some help with the self-healing anyway. That is a good result, and some stress relief too. Okay, we get the first action. Oh, I should have gone with an Intimidate there. That was a big mistake. Okay, hopefully this still kills him. There we go. Hell yeah! Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. She's not letting them, you know, feel like they're putting her on her on their shoulders here, man. She is she is doing some work. Alright, the holy fountain. Let me try this. Divine benefit, yeah. Oh, that's like the stress relief, isn't it? Okay, so that doesn't really help us out that much, but still good to do. Alright, there is a room battle here, so sadly we do have to take this route. I was hoping maybe we can even avoid that whole section of the dungeon, but was not meant and to be. Now, the darkness holds dominion. Black, Black as death. As death. <laughs> oh god, okay. That's a bad start for us. I don't necessarily need to do a group heal here. In fact, I can probably still afford to do some damage with the Vestal. While she self-heals in the process. For her health, for an attack is certainly nothing to scoff at. It's about as much value as we get out of the group heal anyway. One damage. Does he have a huge protection buff, or, is, or are these guys just shitty? I'm starting to feel like it's going to be the latter for a lot of this. Alright, well, that li if that blight lands, well, it certainly won't, because he's got 120% resist, but no matter. Jesus Christ, Feroy! What are you doing? This expedition at least promises success. What devilish deal did you make before we set out today? My god, alright, don't even have stress to relieve. This is kind of a waste of our stuff, unfortunately, but still, goddamn. Alright, now this is probably gonna be. A Never mind. <laughs> Jesus, dude. 
It's trying its best to just prevent me from having to deal with any sort of problems. We're getting the self-heals by way of dealing damage. I guess a Noxious Blast against this guy, he's got a little bit... Oh my god. I was worried about this. I genuinely was. I wanted to portray that... That confidence going into it, but... I didn't feel good about this one. Maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't count my chickens yet. There's still plenty of time for this to go awry. Give me that blight. There we go. Okay, she's gonna die anyway, so hopefully we can get a couple of options against the back line here. In fact... Oh, he's got the stun. Okay, so that sucks, but... We do get the guaranteed kill if we hit the Intimidate here. We've got an 81% chance. There we go. Okay, I was... Hopefully we can land that well enough. Maybe even stun this guy now. 30% against 130%. Okay, as long as it lands. 100% chance to happen. There we go. Okay. Well, that will solve our problems. There we go. And might as well. Okay, that's fine. He's at half health now. Okay, so I do want to be wary of that. I don't want to let him get too far down. Let's go ahead and give him some heals. Yeah. That's a good option. She's going to die. And I suppose... The greater the glory. We just switch them back. Allow her to get that blight off. Oh my Jesus! I'm not even asking for this. I, I mean, I hope we're not getting the uh, the premature crit strikes early on here. We, we're going to need to save some of these for later, I think. I'm getting a little worried about that. The karmic balance of the universe does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Is being shifted dramatically here. I don't want any of these things, I don't think. Uh, the bleedstone's okay, but it's probably not worth the very valuable inventory space we have right now. Here's our first shovel usage as well. Clean pack for me, some loot, some money. I like Wealth it. Beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Not opposed to just popping free torches when I get the opportunity, so we'll go ahead and do that here. I am not going to take the citrine, and I'm going to dump off the bandages, I suppose. We'll leave that be. Okay. That works out. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. So only two food per food activation here. Which is, of course, very beneficial. Still toying with that idea of running that full fasting seal party, which would be very interesting. Of course, then we just have the food available as a as a source of healing outside of battle. I can't even comment on the critical strikes anymore right now. They're not even that high. Their chances are really not that high. It's not like we have a 40 to 50% crit strike on every character here. It's just it's just been utterly absurd. RNG Jesus loves me right now. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery and boogeyman. He's a fickle beast though. I should be I should be wary of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god, battlefield medicine. Oh, that sucks. Man. I mean, I I wish I could expect outcomes like this. That's what I would really hope for is just to build to the point where I'm hoping that that will just work out that way. But I can't possibly do that. At least, n well, I mean, definitely not with this party, but... These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. God damn, man. I just don't even know anymore. So, tell you what, I... Man, I was not expecting this. 48 crests already. That is insane. We got a full stack of emeralds. That's 2,000 gold, of course. I'll get rid of the key and make room for more gold here. I kind of almost want to dump off the holy water, too, for emeralds, but that's probably not worth it. If that was like a ruby or sapphire or something, I would consider it. And, uh, of course. Okay, fine. Have it your way, game. Well, now there's a lot less chance of getting another one of those, which I have to tell myself to feel good about this. Uh, I'm going to pop a campfire here. Because I'm already full up. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. I'm hoping we have some options for... Okay, so we have the Reflection, which is a great option. Definitely gonna do Sanctuary here to avoid those extra fights. And then the Crusader, I think, has... Yeah, he's got Zealous Vigil, which is another accuracy bonus. I think I like that. Let's go for that. So there's some accuracy buffs to these guys, which is gonna be awesome as shit. The, really, the only problems we have are the lack of accuracy on the Leper... And the fact that not every single attack has resulted in a critical strike. I mean, how do they expect me to go on 
without a hundred percent crit chance. Is struck. A blazing star is born. It's just ridiculous. Oh shit, I forgot to switch these two as well. Okay, so this is gonna be no problem whatsoever. <laughs> what are you even I <laughs> I'm literally at a loss for words because this is unprecedented. How do I crit strike so much? I don't understand it. I'm almost mad. I'm angry. Why am I... S <laughs> Why are they critting so much? It's absurd. Look at this. Look at this. 4% crit modifier, 11% chance to crit. Which now, of course, it's not going to happen, but... As Jesus. Mount, so too will resistance. Whatever, dude. We'll take it. I'll take the contents of the sack. Give it to me. We're heading back through this way as well, so I'm hoping that I can detect that uh, trap again, but... Alright, sarcophagus. And we surprise the enemy again. What fun! What a bizarre turn of events that is! Can't even believe it! Just deal damage all day long. No concerns whatsoever. <laughs> uh, holy shit. What was I worried about? What was I even remotely concerned about? Hacks laden with loot are often low on supplies. Well, there's that, uh, there's that gold again. So we are getting rid of the holy water. I'm gonna make room for that gold stack, and then we'll just try this out. Contemplates mortality. I think the holy water probably would have... Oh, shit. Okay, that's not so bad. I think the holy water actually would have purified that, so I may, may have wanted to go for that one. Ah, damn, I was... Hope to avoid the room battle here. Oh well. We're doing fine. That is a free blessing, I believe. Buff up of damage. But I needed that. Ooh, and a positive quirk as well. Clutch hitter. 3% crit when his health is below 50. Well, that kind of balances out the uh, thanatophobia then, doesn't it? Works out pretty well for us. Alright, sadly no more keys here, so this is going to be a risky business going into this little box here. A quick stun off on the Bulwark, although I fully expect we're going to be going for him with the Holy Lance here. Mm-hmm. Oh, likes it. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's target the Marksman. Oh, good damage. Okay. That'll work. And now, uh, well, you know what? Blinding gas, maybe? No, that's not a good option. Tell you what, let's just go for the damage on the uh, Spearman here. We can't get the guaranteed kill if we land this. 90% chance. I like it. I like it. Take that guy out. Spearman does deal a lot of damage, so I should be wary of that, but... I'm pretty sure we're gonna be okay. Maybe even stun him before he gets an opportunity here. Stun lock party, man. There's not a lot that makes me feel better than not even allowing the enemy to have an opportunity to act. That is just thoroughly satisfying. Even into round three, he's done nothing. He's just sat there looking stupid. You know what? Fine, I'll take him. God! <laughs> it's just... Giving him to me over and over and over. I I get ya. I hear the message. And now we got the bus. Okay, so now we gotta make some real room here. Holy cow. I was worried about not getting a lot from this. If we leave now, we have over... 10,000 gold. Right? Hold on. 6, 75, 95, yeah. Do we want these? I guess so, right? You know what? I don't, I don't need that many crests. We'll take some bus. Balance that out a little bit. We're gonna have to use this other campfire pretty uh, soon here, too. We do have to go all the way back, sadly. I was honestly kind of hoping that we would see a, uh, a dungeon cleared icon pop up after we cleared that treasure chest there, but sadly it was not meant to be. Who's got the highest trap detection? Probably, I guess our leper maybe. Yeah, they. All, I think they've all got forty percent. So yeah, I guess we'll go with him. All right, that's fine. How much damage does that do? Fourteen. Hazards possessed by evil intent. That's intimidating. All right, so we need holy water for this. Uh, usually does not bode well if we check it without that. As to be expected, I guess. Whoa! Oh, shit! Alright, well, we were looking for some reason to send someone to the sanitarium, and we freaking got it, didn't we? Son of a bitch. 
Eh, no matter. We get back down to that pitch as black territory, which we are benefiting from. Although we don't even really need the amount of stuff that we're getting now. We're almost getting too much treasure already. Of course, we can still dump off those emeralds. If we happen to get a more profitable gemstone, such as a ruby or a sapphire, we'll see how things go. We've already scouted this out. Still have our second campfire. Detect the trap, always nice. And another buff! Hooray! <laughs> Plus 40% damage on our leopard. On our level 5 damage leopard. Oh boy. This closes in, haunting the hearts of men. So tell you what, we're just gonna go straight damage for everyone, because it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter what we do. It's just gonna work. Everything is just gonna work perfectly. And I love it. <laughs> I sound like I'm complaining, but I am so happy of about how well this is going. It's just absurd. I really can't ask for better results than this. I shouldn't have done that, actually. That was probably a mistake, but whatever. Again, what's the harm in it? Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. All right, we have no more or herbs. Orbs, I was going to say. So I'm taking a gamble here. We got some blight. No big deal. We have enough to Those use the... Uh... Stalk these shadows, but yonder, oh, God. A glint of gold. What'd that do to him? Probably gave him something else again here. i gonna have to fix up Chartres after this. Probably gonna end up using my campfire here. Because that would mean I'd actually have an opportunity to uh, cure this blight, and that's the last of the food we have. Let's go ahead and pop this now. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. So let's see. We have uh, removed target poison and a chance to remove his disease that he just got. So this is actually a really good option for us right now. Clear away that blight. I don't think I got rid of the disease, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he still got it. Still got that creeping cough. Okay. Uh, sanctuary again here. We can actually bless someone. Let's go ahead and do that. Do a little bit of a blessing on our crusader. Bump up that dodge chance. And now, stress resist could be helpful. Or preventative medicine, but I think I'd prefer to have the stress resist, so let's do that for him. He's got the most at five. <laughs> five out of a hundred of the whole party. That's what I'm worried about here. Alright, so we've got two more... Two more slots for goodies. The emeralds have now made themselves worthwhile in this slot. Valuing out of the same amount as a gold the light, stack. The promise of safety. And I am going this way first. Actually, you know what? This is a mistake. I'm going to go to the left first. And hope that this is just emptiness. We'll see how things go from there. Oh, man. This is terrifying. I shouldn't be... Don't be sarcastic now, man. That's just asking for it. That's going to be... That's going to be what gets my ass killed. Turns my ass to grass. Mark stun? That's fine. That's fine. I've dealt with worse. Dealt with the likes of your kind before. Another full stack of gold, man. Goodness. I'm taking gambles on everything here. I feel like I can afford it, so... We'll just allow things to play out as they will, I suppose. Some more busts there, too. Okay, so that is uh, going to be occupying the remainder of my slots here. Which I guess I'm okay with. Alright, I'm glad we went this way. It turns out to be the correct decision. Nearly killed the skeleton off the start. Actually, this could do it. And, uh... It's a pretty good damn good chance, too, so I like that. Really not too worried about healing across the board. In fact, we're not worried at all about it. I uh, don't have... Oh, I keep forgetting to switch those guys back. It just doesn't even... Merit concern. Whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're gonna get... We're gonna get hurt. For one damage, so I I'm putting my hands up as unto Neil deGrasse Tyson. For those of you that may understand that reference, I hope you do. I truly do. And now we're just going to heal that up because I'm worried about it. <laughs> oh! Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. 
paid for in blood. The award for the most unnecessary critical strike. What do we have for him, Johnny? Well, we've got this chest full of gold, but they don't have any room to store it. What a world. What a world they live in. Let's eat some food to celebrate. Beauty. A joyous occasion as they've completed the quest. They're able to dump off the shovels, get the last of these goodies, and make their way home. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Room by room, hall by hall, we reclaim what is ours. Well, we just got 24,000 gold. 25,000 gold, all things considered. About 50 crests, a few busts, some deeds, and this shitty sheath. What more can be said other than, Goddamn, dem crits dough. Girl. Mm-hmm. Look at this. So thick. And meaty. Yummy. Eight resolve experience levels up across the board and unyielding for Feroy. These guys are feeling good. Almost gonna be level five here as well. That is... That is stellar. Carter got a lot of much-needed experience out of that as well. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Oh, man. Good feelings. Good feelings. Yeah, I get Karnet up here. Trying to get her to catch up to everybody else. Of course, Bashad probably needs some love as well as Ashwil and Wateo. Might go with that layout, actually, next time. That could be an interesting com composition, so we'll see what is available to us. For now, though, thank you very much for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.